Next, we are coming to you from Taiwan. I just want to show you the coffee shop that we're at. Mm -hmm. I don't know if this is supposed to be our new hangout spot. I think it is. For the um, wrong reasons. For the wrong reasons, all the wrong <laughs> reasons. <laughs> Hello beautiful people, I'm Leah. I'm Justin. Thank you for joining us and welcome to our channel. We make videos to share with you what our life's been like since we decided to get up, get out, and get gone. Mm -hmm. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the reasons why we left the US. Be sure to check out our Instagram where you can also follow us in our lives in Taiwan on our dose of the daily. The statistics are there. You can see that a lot of people have been leaving the United States recently, like a lot, and even renouncing their citizenship. But We've been out of the country for well over four years, so I'm just saying we were way ahead of that trend. In fact, Leah and I, we actually met in South Korea. We didn't actually meet in the United States. So some of you who are new to our channel, that's a little backstory. Like Justin said, in today's video, we are going to be giving you our reasons on why we left the United States way before 2020 when the shit hit the fan. One of the main reasons that I left the United States, yeah, if you know, you know. If you don't know, it's because I'm black. Now, safety is being brought to the forefront um, of what's going on in 2020, but it has been an ongoing issue with the black community for a minute. Now, there is a sense of racism um, in Asia where we are, but it is nothing like the United States. I get pulled over by the police in Asia because they want to take a picture with you, not because they want to shoot you. Safety was an issue for me as well, mm, on a different level, because I was working as a pedicab driver in New Orleans, and if any of you have been in New Orleans, you know, hey, guns ablazing all the time. And I got tired of, you know, seeing that on a regular basis. I also got tired of people making me target practice with their vehicles because I was a cyclist just looking to share the road with their big behemoth vehicles. They wanted to hit me. I got tired of that, so I bounced. And another reason why I wanted to try something new was because I wanted uh, a little more job security. You see, I've been hustling for a long time and I was making ends meet. I was, the money was coming in, but I wasn't really paying down my student loans very quickly. I wasn't able to secure any property. I wasn't able to like really build up a portfolio. Justin had a job where he hustled and I had a job that was very stable, um, that I've been at at a long time and that I actually loved. However, um, mm. I was at the top of the corporate ladder. I couldn't go any further as far as advancement or as far as pay. But being able to move abroad and work as ESL teachers, for those of you who didn't know, that's what we do. We, we teach English as a second mm. language. That's something that took very little investment and very little time to accomplish. If, if I wanted to advance in with my degree, I would have to get a secondary degree and then a PhD beyond that. With that transition comes this newfound quality of life that oh, yeah. we definitely would not have in the United States. First, I'm going to talk about the benefits package that we received. First, our benefits package was what? Sign on bonus. Sign on bonus. A completion bonus. Contract completion bonus. Depending on the market that you are coming to, your airfare can be paid from home to the country and the country back home. And certainly there are options to have your accommodations paid for, or at the very least have a stipend given to you for rent. While we're talking about work, let's talk about our working hours. <laughs> in Vietnam, in order to hold a working visa, the minimum of hours required to work, 14 hours a week was the minimum for us to have a working visa. That is full time. And as a supervisor, my hours were actually increased from 14 hours a week to a whopping 25 hours a week for full time. And what did we do with all that extra time? Yeah, so as we talk about the home work life balance, <laughs> that extra time allowed us to do what Justin and I love to do the most, which is travel. We took more international trips that time we spent in Vietnam yeah. than I had collectively previous prior to. I would love to be able to, tr to travel the United States the way that we've been able to travel Southeast Asia. That's a goal. That's a goal, all right? Perhaps one of the most inspiring reasons to change our life and leave the U.S., because we did that independent of one another, we didn't even know each other then, mm -hmm. is we were both seeking out something new. Yeah. We were both embracing the unknown. You had already figured out your job, right? Yes. I was tired of hustling. I wanted to try something new. So why not? Sounds scary. And you know what? 
packing up your life and relocating to a new country where you don't speak the language can be incredibly intimidating. But that's all part of the adventure, really. Trying something new, actually learning a new skill set. 2020 has been the year of WTF, right? Like, now, I think, is a great a time as ever to get up and get out and get gone. I absolutely agree with everything that Justin has said. Look, I was in a field that I absolutely loved and decided to go and do something new. If I go and teach for a year and I didn't like it, I've been working enough in this field where I can come back and find a way to pick up where I left off. So the last thing that I wanna say is that even though Justin and I thoroughly enjoy our lives abroad, make sure that you know that we still appreciate the privilege that we have of carrying these American passports. Despite, despite <laughs> how we may have recently lost international favor yeah. and respect, we still love that we're Americans because, wait, particularly in, in, in our field, yeah. teaching English, it is a very favorite accent to have the American accent. It is. Unless you're from Canada. Oh, uh, okay. It's because a, everybody loves so Canada. I mention Canada. <laughs> If you are possibly thinking the way that we're thinking, that now's the time to embrace the unknown, now's the time to actually try something new, then do it. Do it. <laughs> and you know what? Call up on us as a resource if you like. Comment in the community box below and talk to us. We're happy to answer any questions you have. We're happy to talk with on Instagram as well. But get at us. We'd love to see you out here in the big wide open. I'm gonna end this video with the question that I always ask. When was the last time you did something for the first time? It is never too late to get up, get out, and get gone. See you in the next video.